failed to give reasons why the charges against Philippus had been withdrawn. Although, according to the media reports, the withdrawal of the charges was ostensibly due to the outcome of the DNA test results which pronounced him a free man. Needless to say, this surprising news has presented a false victory for the real rapist and murderer out there, and indeed for other murderers in the country, which could unfortunately lead to a further escalation of similar forms of violence in the country. It is, however, Wyatt's conviction that the Attorney General owes the public an explanation on the grounds on which she decided to withdraw the charges against the accused. An explanation should further be given by the Attorney General, uh, Attorney General as to why, according to media reports, a semen sample only, uh, uh, could only be extracted from the body of the deceased on a second examination merely six days after Magdalena's death. The withdrawal of all charges against Julius Philippus ostensibly only on very strong grounds has taught the public a very serious lesson and that is not to react to untested evidence and a deafening insistence to hand over the suspect for meeting out mock justice and we should actually offer an apology to him as matters have now transpired. Junius Philippus could just have been at the wrong place at the wrong time, and he could have met his fate innocently.